Well, I mean, I don't talk about works in progress ever, so I can't answer that one. But I, I'm going to do something for the Whitney Museum is the next thing I know I'm doing. We'll go to 186 and then 211. Hi, David Cohen from Variety. Laura, I think I saw you on the carpet, and you looked like you were having the best time of maybe anybody I saw out there. Can you tell us about what it means to you to be here and get this recognition and just be in this room with these people? I mean, honestly, I mean, I mean, I'm here. I was on the red carpet with Glenn Greenwald and Dave Miranda and Dirk and Mathilde. And, you know, no matter what happened today, we, we've all felt that this has been just an experience of a lifetime. So, it, you know, we're here to celebrate and, and just incredible collaboration. And then to have the work recognized by the Academy is sort of a dream come true. We're going back to 211. I'll come down here. Hi, congratulations, Dirk. This question is for you. I'm over here. Sorry. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, can you tell us about how you feel tonight? Where are you going to put the Oscar? And also, who are you going to call first? Please. Uh, I feel proud because what we have done is meaningful and uh, important. And I think it's wonderful that this has been uh, awarded with an Oscar. And it means a lot to the film and to what we stand for. And I don't need to call anybody because Mathilde is right here, and that's exactly where these two Oscars land uh, at home. <laughs> so we're going to 157, and I'll come down to 214. Laura, congratulations on an extraordinary film. It's rare that you see one where the things are actually happening instead of people talking about what happened. The Academy Award is like the ultimate establishment recognition. You don't do establishment topics. Does this? change you in any way or think change the way you get viewed in any way? I know, I mean, actually it doesn't really change me. I mean, we made a film and we didn't make any compromises, but you know, I think actually the Academy is full of artists and filmmakers. And I think that that's what it's being recognized for as a film. So um, I actually feel a lot of, you know, kindred spirit with a lot of the other films that are nominated, Boyhood, Grand Budapest Hotel, Birdman. Those are really artist driven films. So I think it fits right in with those. Down to 214 and then to 58. Uh, German press agency, do, could you elaborate please in German? Um, this film was mostly produced in Berlin. You were not editing this year in the US for obvious reasons. Can you just in German maybe uh, comment on that? Um, es war notwendig, den Film in Deutschland zu schneiden, wegen der äh, besonderen günstigen Gesetzeslage in Deutschland, die Journalisten und Dokumentarfilmmacher besser beschützt, als es hier in den USA zum Beispiel ist. Und das ist für uns natürlich in Deutschland eine sehr schöne Sache, dass wir jetzt diesen Film auch mit dem Oscar belohnt sehen. Und wir sind momentan noch in Deutschland in 70 Kinos und der Film wird hoffentlich jetzt noch weiter rauskommen wieder. Aber wir sind auch in ungefähr 30, 40 anderen Ländern jetzt sehr bald im Kino. Und deswegen ist es für uns eine ganz große Sache, dass wir jetzt diese Anerkennung bekommen haben und wir sind sehr dankbar dafür. We're going to 58 and then I have to end it with 286 in the back. Hallo, Vivian Gebhardt für Sieben, uh, German Television 4. <laughs> um, wie werden Sie diesen, uh, diesen uh, how will you celebrate this, this amazing day? How is it going to end? No, yeah, and that's, like, that's not the kind of serious, that we, we prefer serious, we very serious questions. Can we get closer to yeah. the mic, please? Yes. Let's do two other questions. Good on that? Okay. 286 in the back. Sorry. We just need you to step closer to the microphone when you're asking. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for making this film and for addressing some of the serious uh, issues that it raised. Unlike a lot of the questions here, I do have a question about the serious issues raised by your film. I don't know if you heard that quip that uh, Neil made, and I know it's all just in fun, but I'm personally really furious that he compared Snowden to treason. Um, how do we get this conversation back to what really counts? All of us are being spied on by our own government, and everybody around the world is under the same threat. So it's not something uh, we can joke about and say he's a, he's a traitor. How can we uh, get the conversation more serious? Well, I think one of the things that one can do is to focus on the person Snowden. And uh, one of the things that we've uh, tried to do with our film was to show him, to, to give him a real voice. And when, I think when you see him, you understand that his motives were pure and that he was really authentic. And so when you, once you understand that, you see that it's a young man who has actually decided to end his life as he knew it. It's an extraordinary act of courage, and he was almost ready to, to die for what he wanted to do. It's really high stakes. Once you understand that, you understand that it's really important, and maybe it moves people to 
and it galvanizes people to want to make a personal change. We've seen that, I mean, we've seen at the end of screenings, people come to us very, really moved. I mean, and I, I, would, I would add, like, in terms of, like, what does it mean in terms of this kind of surveillance? I mean, all we need to do is look at the civil rights movement and what the FBI did in terms of spying on Martin Luther King and other activists. I mean, this is what happens when this kind of spying happens, and, it's, and it's, there's no oversight on it. So I think we should be very concerned as a democracy.